Hi everyone, my name's Caitlin and this is KDB Reads. Okay, so it is now April and um, I'm a couple days late figuring out all the books I'm going to read for this month, but I have them now and um, almost all of them are digital because, you know, I can't go anywhere. So uh, I do have a bunch of books that I am excited to read. So without any further ado, let's just go ahead and get into it. So the classic that I'm reading for this month, I'm or I'm listening to it on audiobook, is The Murder on the Links by Agatha Christie. So I've read a few books by Agatha Christie. The first one I ever read was And Then There Were None. I had to read that for school and I really, really enjoyed it. And then since then I've read a few Poirot uh, novels, who is a recurring detective character that she writes about a lot. So I've read uh, Murder on the Orient Express. I've read um, The Clocks, I think. I think it's just called The Clocks. I don't think it's like Murder by Clock. Yeah, I think it's just The Clocks. And um, then I decided I wanted to go through and try to read all of the Poirot, Hercule Poirot novels. So I've read the first one, The Mysterious Affair at Styles. I also listened to that on audiobook a few months ago. And so I'm going to continue on with the next one. I'm doing them in basically chronological order. Um, just the novels. I haven't done the short stories. We'll see. Maybe once I go through, I'll go and find all of the, the short story collections of his as well. So Murder on the Links is a murder mystery, classic Agatha Christie style. And so the description is when a man is found dead in a freshly dug grave adjacent to a golf course, Hercule Poirot and Captain Hastings arrive on the scene only to be met by a hostile local police detective who is unwilling to share information. So I just, I really enjoy the Agatha Christie's novels. They're just satisfying in a way. I don't know, I don't know how to describe it. A lot of them, I can't read a bunch of them in a row because I feel like they would blend together, but it's it's just fun to try and guess at what you know the mastermind detective is thinking and try to put together the clues and stuff like that. And everything is just wrapped up with a neat little bow by the end. And there's just something really nice about that. I don't I don't always want that. I'm not always in the mood for that. But like right now, I feel like having just a very nice, well-rounded, well executed story that everything gets wrapped up. There's no questions left. I feel like that would be a really nice thing to have right now. So I chose to do, to listen to that audiobook for my classic. All right, my book that came out within the last year is the only one that I have a physical copy of, and that's going to be Grave Importance by Vivian Shaw. So this is the third and I believe final book, I, at least I think it's the, the latest book that has come out in the Greta Helsing series. So, you know, in, um, was it February? March? Yeah, so in February I started with the um, first of the book, Strange Practice, which was okay. Last month I read Bad Company, which is the second book, and I enjoyed that even more. And so now I'm on to this one. And this one I actually own. My husband gave it to me for Christmas. And so that this is me getting this book is the reason why I started reading the whole series. So I am pretty excited. After the first book, I was like, oh man, I don't know if this is really for me, but the second book, I was really, really excited about it. So this one, I started reading it. I am just like one chapter in, which by the way, the chapters on her books are massive. I just feel like they're so, so long. Like like this whole book will maybe be, maybe be 10 chapters. Let's see, let's see if I'm right. No, oh, it's 18 chapters. Now I just sound super dramatic. Whatever. Anyway, the, the chapters are very long, but there are kind of breaks in them. So for this one, it picks up shortly after the second book and Dr. Helsing is back in London doing her regular job and she just got a call from a friend who runs a, what is it called? It's Oasis Natrun, Natrun? I'm not sure exactly how you pronounce it, but it's a luxury health spa for mummies and her friend is the medical director there and he's got to go somewhere, I can't remember where, off to Egypt, I think, probably. Um, and so he's asking her to come in and be acting medical director of 
that um, health spa. And so of course, once she gets there, there's going to be some sort of mystery for her to solve some sort of nefarious thing going on. So I am pretty excited about that. I'm, I'm excited for mummies because I feel like I haven't, I don't think I've ever read any kind of book about a mummy. Like the first two kind of centered more on vampires and demons. And so just to have like a new kind of creature to, to look at, I am really excited about. So that one, I think it, it came out in September, I believe, of 2019. So it's come out within the last year. The rest of them are on digital. I have checked them out from my library, which I highly recommend that you, you know, check out the online resources that your library has, especially in this time, because a lot of them have a lot of resources, not just books, music, sometimes movies, all kinds of fun stuff. So anyway, okay. So the children's book I'm reading is called Clara Voyant, and it is by Rachel or Rochelle, I think Rochelle Delaney. And so this is a little bit older of a book, I would say. It's made for probably middle school readers. Um, so Clara is a 12 year old, she's in seventh grade, and she does not believe in any kind of like horoscopes, magic, mysticism, anything like that, but her mom does. So Clara gets, not a job, but she joins the school paper and the editor puts her to horoscopes. But then as she's making up these horoscopes, it turns out that they're all coming true. And which I just think is just such a fun uh, concept. And then a mystery unfolds. It doesn't say what the mystery is going to be. A mystery is gonna be unfolding at school and so she's going to try to prove herself as an investigative journalism using her clairvoyance. Obviously, there's the pun there. And I just thought it looked really cool. I loved the artwork on the cover. That design just really intrigued me. So I'm really excited. This one I have as an ebook, so um, I will be downloading it to the Kindle I have to read it because I just, I can't, I can't read on my phone. I, it, it just bugs me. So that is the children's book. And then my wild card book that I'm reading is called, okay, and then the wild card that I have is also an audiobook, and it is called Kill the Farm Boy by Delilah S. Dawson and Kevin Hearn. So the reason why I chose this one is because actually a few months ago at Barnes and Noble, I saw a book called The Princess Beard, which sounded really interesting, and that is, the third in a series called The Tales of Pell. So this one, it seems like it's a bit of a parody on um, fantasy tropes. And obviously, Kill the Farm Boy, Princess Beard, I think the second book is No Country for Old Gnomes or something like that. So they're supposed to be humorous takes on these fantasy tropes. So Kill the Farm Boy is like a chosen one parody basically which i'm really excited to see i don't really know much more about that but i do know uh one of the authors delilah s dawson wrote one of the books that goes with the galaxy's edge the black spire outpost i think is what it's called which uh i've read some of it my husband read the whole thing before we went to disneyland this year and she's a really good writer we enjoyed her writing so uh I'm excited to read this version to kind of get something a little different, especially because it brings to mind The Princess Bride, which is such a good book. One of my very favorite books. So yeah, um, I don't really know much else about it, but I'm looking forward, I'll listen to that. I am excited that I have two books that are audiobooks because I mean, for one, it's, I can get through, through those a little bit faster, but also I'm able to listen to them while I do other things, like when I'm cooking dinner or crocheting or whatever it might be, I can also listen. So that's gonna be exciting. And yeah, so those are my books, um, all mostly digital because that's just kinda what's helpful right now. And I, am excited about them. Some of them are a little different from anything I've ever read, so we'll see how I like them. All right, anyway, thank you so much for watching and have a great day.